Hey guys, it's Dave and Crystal from Trail Adventures TV. We're here in Anza Borrego this weekend. It's November 13th, and we're here with a few of our friends. So we have Joey D, Tim and Monica. Dale, Joe's friends, and Natalie, my daughter. Yeah, so we're here enjoying a, a real quick weekend getaway. Uh, we're gonna hit the mud caves, we're gonna do Diablo drop off, and then we're gonna in explore a lot of what uh, other areas that Anza Borrego has to offer. So we're gonna bring that to you, so make sure you stay tuned. This is gonna be a great episode. <laughs> heavy rains you get these mudslides like you're seeing here where the um, soil has just come right down the wall and trust me if you're camping there uh, that's a disaster waiting to happen so if you're ever camping in Anza Borrego uh, just keep that in mind. Right now guys it's about 9 30 in the morning we're hitting the trail and uh just enjoying everything that anza borrego has to offer the scenery out here is just incredible it's almost alien like like almost like you're on another planet so if you get out here and explore this area you definitely know what i'm talking about the geological changes through the area are just intense um giant sandstone walls walls that are just mud and certainly just every type of rock formation you can pretty much think of. So if you're into that sort of thing, head out to Anza Borrego. You're not gonna be disappointed, that's for sure.
Okay, hold up, waiting for Dell. Okay. I'm here. Dell, did you take that same line I did?
yeah, I remember it well. So you can put your hood light back on. This would be a, this and make this a first stop, first camp night or something. Or, yeah, I think Tim feels the same way. We should probably just camp here. It's already 3.30. Huh? It's 2.30. Oh, 2.30. Oh, shit, you're going to be um, Ask Tim if he doesn't mind. I mean, it's up to you. I know you like driving. Yeah, I don't I'm kind of like wanting to camp. <laughs> but whatever you want to do. I mean, we can just drive off and explore. Like Joey was saying, this is a phenomenal camp spot, and it's almost always taken. And we are surprised that we were the only ones here. But after about 10 or 15 minutes and talking with the rest of the people in our group, we found out why. This place was infested with bees. From all angles, we were being attacked by bees, so there was no way we were going to be able to stay here. 
So we got back on the trail and after about another two and a half to three hours, we finally settled into a spot and it was time to make dinner. So I threw on some mushrooms, gravy, and grilled some steaks on the new Ice Co. barbecue. Worked out great. Darkness fell and we were exhausted from a long day on the trail. It was time to enjoy some campfire relaxation. Now I know it's been a long time since our last episode, but there is definitely more content coming. We appreciate you guys sticking with us and enjoying this content. From all of us at Trail Adventures TV, Tim and Monica, Joey D, me and Crystal, and the rest of the crew, thanks for watching.